Hi again, um, just a bit of a, well actually a spur of the moment um, video. About five minutes ago Laura told me she's been working at the front of this particular job and I've been working up the back. She come and cleared some rubbish and she said, I oh, guess what I've just seen? And I saw the owner or whatever. No, the new owners of the house. This house I noticed on uh, about two months ago that it had been up for sale and took off. Didn't say it sold or anything but now apparently a woman, she um, said she wanted to come do some measurements. So she says, you know, I'm the, I'll, I'll be the new owner. So, um, yeah, that's a bit strange. The good news is, uh, I think she's quite keen on keeping us on. So that will be good. But it's just, there's been a few things mentioned lately about jobs and that here. Shut that window a bit, because Laura started the blower. Um, yeah, a few things mentioned about jobs and that here, which makes you think she wouldn't be moving. But... It's an odd one, yeah, because she hasn't mentioned nothing to us and we've, been, we've known her for two or three years now. So, yeah, that's a bit of a... Um, we've never actually quite had that before. Um, people have usually told us if they intend to move, you know, to talk, that's the most annoying thing. Um, if the people, new people didn't want to keep us on, we might have been able to fill this slot and we wouldn't have been able to. So, yeah, it's a, it's a strange one. So, um, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I'm, I will, um, things would happen differently for a new customer, probably I would give them a, probably a little bit less time, um, the money would go up because it was due to go up to the uh, person we've been working for anyway, it's been the same for two or three years, however long we've been coming, um, so it's due to go up and probably I'll, I'll knock down the sessions from three hours to two hours and tell the new people if there's any sort of bigger jobs, we'll do them like as one-off jobs rather than tie it into our um, weekly, fortnightly, um, whatever. We haven't mentioned money to the new people or anything because um, she said to um, Laura, the new, the new lady, said, um, uh, oh, um, the owner who we've been working for had um, really good things to say about us. You know, she praised us and that. And then Laura said, well, she hadn't mentioned you at all. Um, so it's at the moment, it's as if we've, we're keeping it as if we haven't seen the new people and we don't know so it'll be quite interesting to know if the customer mentions it um because i don't know when she thought gonna mention it but you you know if someone's actually bored it that's quite you know if someone's got after sad and they tell you um it's a bit it's a bit different um but you know actually it's it's been sold so yeah and i should imagine quite a lot will be done to it as well um but i think it needs to do some work but it's just stupid little jobs like um Oh, getting um, some trellisy metal frames for the um, front of the house for the wisteria and the back fence and worrying about because it's open and all that. Well, when it's sold, that seems a little bit strange. But a strange one was actually once I worked for someone that put the house up for sale. They told me they were selling it and everything. Um, and the last day when they were actually moving, I was working on the last day and she got me to pull the weed out of the pond on the last day when she was moving. That was a that was an odd one. Why would you take weed out of a pond when you're going to move? That that, that especially that day. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, strange. But um, I had my I had an inkling when I saw it up for sale a while ago. I thought you know things probably will be changing soon because the lady's getting quite old. It's a big house, a big garden, and everything. But it's just yeah, it's a bit of an odd one. But yeah. Um, the, it was a bit of a bit of a surprise when you actually hear about it. You thought she'd have mentioned it, but the new people have got a dog, so um, Nerf might have a playmate as well. So we'll have to see, because um, he loves coming here. He's so excited. So I'd be more disappointed for him than us if it finished. But I plan to take him more jobs anyway next year. I'll, I'll try to um, do things a bit different. But um, I'm more edging towards wanting to do half week grass, trying get grass jobs. So. If the jobs have to be knocked down a little bit, what I do at the moment, hour-wise, there's another one that sort of finished us for the winter, well, for a couple of months. We have got to go back to there and just do a bit of rubbish clearing and that. But um, they might be, we've got a garden pretty sorted there. I might just start off trying to do two hours a week there instead of three. Um, and I might do the same here, like I said. And then if they want a bigger job done, they can just say, oh, can you give us a day to cut the hedge, do this, do that, or whatever. Um, and that's the, how I think I'll um, do it, because... Um, these regular maintenance jobs do take up quite a bit of time and to be honest the money's nearly um, in the time I've been here I haven't put this job up um, uh, you know the money up and now 
what I get here in some jobs I nearly get that for two hours what I get here for three hours so you know um, I don't think the existing ones the money don't get cut up but then the new ones it starts off at a new rate where they're a bit jumbled all over the place but I'd like to get it more level so yeah that's how I'll probably do it but yeah it was a bit of a surprise but um, you know I, um, nothing ever really um, surprises me massively because people have got their own little things the way they do it and you know they're not really going to worry about us a great deal um, you know once they move your that's what it is with everybody however um, out, you can work for a big garden and that they'll treat you the greatest but when they want to move they ain't going to worry about you too much are they because they're not going to need you anymore you're only um, wanted when it suits them so take nothing for granted in that way because you know you can have 10 customers and you could just be really unlucky five customers could move in a year and not, not want you anymore you just can't, you can't never take it for granted so you know make the most of it when you've got the jobs and yeah um, just um, yeah um, always be on the lookout really if something else better comes up there's no such thing as um, law so much anymore not with anything really you know, with the big companies like, um, you know, Sky, BT and all them companies, they offer new people the best deals and the existing ones have been with them years, they don't offer them any good deals. So, you know, there used to be more loyalty, but there isn't any more. So, you know, you've got to look out for yourself, number one first, and then um, afterwards, um, you know, the, the customer actually comes second, really. In my eyes, they do because you know we've been doing jobs before and we've just been dropped and you've said that um drop for whatever reason um or they've moved or whatever and then they don't want you anymore and then that leaves you in limbo unless you're one step ahead and you've always got a like a backup plan which i tried to have. um hi it's the next day now the video you've just seen cut off yesterday so um this is just to finish it off and um, yeah um so we never saw the customer yesterday um, she um, wasn't back by the time we finished and um, we did message and we got a message and she said about paying us but um, yeah still no mention about about moving so yeah a bit of a strange one I'll keep you updated on it um, what happens and um, yeah it's just um, yeah some um, customers are strange how they do things but yeah they've probably got their reasons but yeah like I said I'll keep you updated and um, yeah we'll um, what happens so thanks for watching i'll be along with another video again soon